Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is video editorial for the problem binary literature taken from, of course, uh, Code Forces Div 2 Round 715, and this is the D problem. And in this lecture, uh, at the end of this lecture, I'll also be providing you two extra problems which are almost same as this one, so you can practice them as well. So let's get started. So the problem statement is this, you are given an integer n and also three binary strings. Uh, the binary string only contain two characters, either 0 or 1. So uh, they have provided an integer n and three binary strings of length 2n. Each binary string is of, of length 2n, right? So print a binary string, a new binary string such that uh, it can have at most 3n length and uh, it should have at least two, two strings. Uh, two out of these three input string two string exist as subsequence in this so you have to print a string again binary string of length at most three n such that at least two of the three input string must appear as subsequence in this one okay this is a problem for example if this was the example test case and is equals to one so there are three input strings of length two n so you can print uh, in a uh, string of length 3n at most so i'm printing of length 3 so uh, and at least two of them must appear as subsequence in this one for example if you see this one is appearing as subsequence and this one is also appearing as subsequence so at least two are appearing as subsequence in this string and this is of size 3n at most so this is one of the possible answer these two are also possible answer for example 0 and 1 0 if you see these two first and third exist as subsequence in this you can see 0 0 exists as subsequence and 0 1 also exists as subsequence so there can be multiple answer we don't care we have to print any one right so this is the problem statement i hope the problem is clear now observation so now take any two string right uh a and b let's call them a and b and just place them uh, one one after other we see that of course since we have created the new string by placing one string after another we are sure that a and b exist as subsequence in that string right but the problem is that now the size of this string is actually 4n because a and b both are of length 2n so we are able to come up with a condition uh, with a situation where we are at least able to follow one condition which is two string must appear as subsequence in the answer string but the problem is we are going over 3n uh, 3n limit right so now can we reduce the size of this newly created string well the answer is of course yes and how of course if the answer of the previous question is yes we can reduce the size of the newly created string the question now is how well the answer is using subsequences <laughs> how let me show you so suppose these were two input strings if you find out their lcs the longest common subsequence you would find the uh, lcs of these two string is three right c matches with c d matches with d e matches with e or b matches with b d matches with d e matches with e so the longest common uh, subsequence of these two string is three so the theory is you can reduce them by length three how let me show you see if you go with a plus b basically if you append them you place them one after another a b c d e so a b c d e then c b d l e c b d l e right the string length of this is actually uh, 5 5 10 right now since their lcs is 3 you can actually reduce them by 3 so the result would be only of 7 character you see a c b c d l e 2 2 2 1 7 character we are able to reduce 3 character because of lca how see uh let's go with the i have went with i guess c c d d e e so what happens see the first character that matches what i'm assuming is c c so a and b doesn't match so print Mm. I haven't taken I guess I, I guess I have taken B B B D D E E I have taken I guess so see A doesn't match so print A C doesn't match so print C now 
both of the pointers of first and second are on B we are on B so for B we can print only single copy right we don't have to print for both of them after printing B we, uh, for A we are here for B we are here C and D doesn't match so print C D matches with this D for these two only print single copy now we are here we are at E here we are at L L doesn't match with that so print L and finally print E so you would see A B C D E exists as subsequence in this you can see A B C D E C B D L E also exist C B D L E so you see because of the subsequence we are able to reduce the uh, the characters by LCS why is that so because LCS tells that many characters are common so for that many character we can print only a single copy right this way we can reduce the size of string but the question is see here you see let me show you here the size comes out to be 4n so we need to find two strings since we are given three binary strings so we need to choose two binary string such that the LCS is at least n right n or greater than that that's why we will be able to reduce n or more than that character and hence the remaining uh, string would be of length 3n or less than that now the question is how to find LCA see we know in DP we are able to find LCA uh, sorry LCS LCS of two string in n square time right or uh, a into b times n into m times assuming n is the size of first string m is the size of another string but this is a quadratic uh, uh, quadratic time and we can't go with that because of course uh, we'll get TLE but the thing is we don't need to find LCA I mean LCS let me tell you how see for each string calculate uh, find out its most frequent character or frequent character FC uh, see for each string find out that character which is appearing half or more than that number of time so here you see 0 is appearing more than half number of time 1 is appearing more than half number of time 0 and 1 both are appearing half so what you can do you can define yourself whether in that case you would wa want to go with fc 0 or 1 i'm going with 1 if number of 0 are equal to number of 1 i'm i'll be going with 1 okay so after calculating most frequent character you can choose two string which are having same frequent character and this must happen always you can prove it using uh, p general principle uh, if you find out most frequent character of each string then at least two string must have same fc if two string must have uh, choose those string which have the same fc and then their lcs would be at least n just think about it okay uh, and i am leaving this as an exercise for you guys to prove yourself so choose two string having same fc their lca uh, fcs would be at least n right now we know that the chosen string have lcs at least n so if we append them uh in in a organized way in a manner which results in an output string of size less than equals to 3n then we have got the answer right but the question is how we'll be able to uh, how you should print uh, let me show you with an example so let's go ahead and print this result so these two strings were the chosen one because their fc matches right so we are going to print the result so that its size is less than equals to 3 and and of course it would contain these two as subsequence there's one better way to do this uh, you can go through the editorial of this problem on code versus apps uh, as well uh, i'm showing you the result which we have built till now so how you do this see we know that the frequent character is one so start from this string let me just take you through my solution so that's you so that you are able to follow the code right so here code actually represents the uh, frequent character uh, fc for the string right so see we have we are using two pointer method l and r l represents the this pointer r represents this pointer okay so first what we are doing we are going through this while loop till either l go uh, either this goes out of bound or this goes out of bound right 
so what we are doing initially we are checking whether the L pointer is not pointing to FC that is what I'm checking here if it is not pointing to FC just print it out because this uh, it won't this is not a common character so only increment this one but this is pointing to FC so nothing there now I'm checking the same with the R pointer and this is not pointing to FC so I'll be printing this and moving only this pointer now uh, this is now pointing to FC so this loop will break okay now uh, of course after that after that you would check whether uh, we have reach the end of the string or not if we have reached the end of the string of course we have to break it right after that what you would do you would simply print the common character which is the fc print the fc and increment both of the pointer which is happening here i don't know uh, why i'm checking the if condition uh, this was done during the competition so i don't think much when i have a solution i just go ahead and type it uh, and and of course submit it because of the time limit just print the current character because that is the uh, same character for both of them print only one copy of it and increment both of the parent pointers that is what we have done now we would come again in the while loop we would again check whether l is pointing to fc or not yes it is pointing to fc we won't do anything we will check for r is it, is it pointing to fc yes it is pointing to fc we won't uh, uh, increment it only and now we would reach here and we would see that both of them are pointing to fc print one fc and then move both the pointers that is exactly what we have done now we would go again to the while loop and we would see that this is pointing to fc this is not pointing to fc so print zero and move ahead this pointer that that's what we have done now again this is not pointing to fc so print again zero and move on and now these two are pointing to fc so what we would do we would we are basically at this point in that point what we do we print the fc and then increment both the pointers now you see this is gone beyond the size of the string right so we would come here i would see that r is not less than y dot size y is the second string right uh, x is the first string y is the second string right so we would come out of this loop and simply whichever pointer has not completed its execution we will print one by one all of its character basically for this for uh, we'll print all of the character of this so we will print uh zero one zero ahead of this string so this would be your answer so you see zero one one zero zero one and zero one zero nine character we have used and these are of uh, n is equals to three here so we have printed three and string because uh, LCS of these two string was three so we were able to reduce it by three character so this is how you should be uh, implementing the solution uh, and I'll be providing the solution in the description of the video so you can go through it yourself at C F C get of C is actually of course a function which returns the frequent character so yeah I hope you are able to understand this solution if you still have any query you can post it down in the comment section so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you